Hello students, we shall continue with the reproductive isolation mechanisms related to the second type called post baiting or zygotic isolation mechanisms. Here we predominantly find abnormalities or deformities related to either in the zygote or in the embryo or in the hybrid or an offspring we find. These isolation mechanisms will reduce the success of interspecific crosses. Students it includes a six different uh, mechanisms. But in your syllabus, it includes only four, namely cytological isolation, zygotic mortality, hybrid inviability, hybrid sterility, hybrid breakdown, and gametic mortality. Among post mating reproductive isolation, the first one that we shall understand is cytological isolation. In this type of mating, it takes place, the transfer of sperms also takes place, but the egg will not be fertilized or zygote will not be formed. It is due to the difference in chromosome number between two species gametic cells namely ova and the sperm. Scientists have analyzed that difference in chromosome number in two different species gametic cells brings in the incompatibility of cytoplasmic genes or plasma genes in the zygote. Students remember here, the gametic cells of sperm and ova of two different species or two closely related species, when they undergo fusion, the process of fusion will be abstracted because of incompatibility of uh, uh, chemical reactions that takes place between these two gametic cells. So thereby we find zygote formation will not take place even if fertilization occurs. So that is the importance of cytoplasmic uh, isolation. The example includes Rana clamitans and Rana catasbiana. Here the two species of Rana even though they share a common geographical area but they never tend to involve in the process of uh, a fertilization of their gametes reason is that there is a cytological blockage for fertilization. It is due to a, the phenomenon of incompatibility between um, the gametic cells. Um, in cytological incompatibility or cytological isolation, we also find that the phenomenon of fertilization gets blocked. So that is the importance of cytological incompatibility. The second type is 
zygote mortality. Mortality refers to death. So death of zygote takes place here. In this type of post mating reproductive isolation mechanism, egg is fertilized but the zygote is not formed. This zygote will die between the stage of zygote and adult any time. Students, the very reason for this particular type of reproductive isolation is no matching of chromosomes again. What happens in the first type called cytological isolation, second type called zygotic mortality. In both the cases, the chromosome number will vary and thereby the antigenic interactions that should take place between the two gametic cells of two different species or two closely related species will not take place. Otherwise, the chemical interactions between the zygote and the ova, I'm sorry, the ova and the sperm will be hindered when they are not of the same species. So this is due to the cytoplasmic incompatibility concept as we have understood earlier. But in zygotic mortality, even though the chromosome number is different between the two gametic cells, they tend to avoid at the stage of fertilization itself. Sometimes the fertilization process will be brought in, but the zygote will fail to develop further at a different stage from the zygote formation to the adult stage formation. Again, the reason is that the cytoplasmic incompatibility that is seen between the two gametic cells as well as the difference in the chromosome number. If you look at the example here, in case of plants, there arises incompatibility for the process of fertilization between the pollen and the ovule. Reason is that the pollen tube formation will be obstructed by the genes present in the pollen uh, structures. So the growth of pollen tube will not take place at the region of stigma for the reason is that there occurs the mismatching of chromosome number. Sometimes the pollen tube may grow but it will not reach the structure of ovule to develop the zygote. In the third case, zygote may be formed, but the zygote will not form the complete embryo. It will die. Similarly, in Rana species, the two closely related species gametic cells may undergo fusion as we find external fertilization in frog. So, gamete of uh, uh, ova may be fertilized by the sperm of closely related species because of the mismatching of chromosome number and plasma genes. There occurs even the zygote, but a uh, zygote and blastula stage, but the gasolation process will be stopped, it, is, it gets obstructed. The reason again being the difference in the chromosome number. The third example is observed in Culex mosquito. Here also the Culex genus will remain same but species will, re uh, will be different. It undergoes the phenomenon of mating 
there also gets formed the fertilized eggs, but those fertilized eggs will not develop into the uh, uh, larvae because of uh, incompatibility of chromosomes present in the gametic cells. Similarly, we find Datura plant. Here also, the embryo gets formed even though they are of two different species, but the death of embryo occurs at eight cells stage itself, that is at cleavage process itself. It is due to the zygotic mortality concept. The next type of postmating reproductive isolation is zygote or hybrid inviability. A condition wherein embryo is formed but due to the reduced viability that is low chance of survival of the embryo it dies at any stage of development. So here the zygote will be formed but the zygote later when it enters into the embryonic stage it will not be forming a complete embryo. The embryo will be abnormal. So this is uh, this leads to the death of the embryo itself which we call it as hybrid inviability. So hybrid embryos are formed but with reduced uh, viability, low chance of uh, uh, life for it, so it dies at any stage of development into adult or at the stage of hatching or at the stage of uh, uh, before birth the organisms may die. Students remember here, the zygote develops if an hybrid is formed, that is first offspring gets developed, but this offspring physically becomes weak or it is of inferior variety. Thereby the physiological disturbances occurs in their body. So when a weaker genetic makeup is given for a hybrid, they tend to have abnormalities with their physiological process also. So it will not survive, prematurely it dies. So this occurs in case of species of ducks. So closely related two species when are involved in mating, they do form the eggs, but the eggs will not form the hybrid which are bigger. Okay, they become weak, they die soon. So this type of incompatibility We can even find in plants and even in animals where the zygote gets developed after the fertilization but the zygote will not form a healthy hybrid. So hybrid will die because of low physical and physiological activities. So two examples to cite, number one, Drosophila species, as we discussed earlier, Drosophila melanogaster, Drosophila simulans are closely related species. They tend to have the process of mating, but their eggs will form the larvae, but the larvae will not survive. It is due to incompatible genes in their nuclear pore proteins. So this nuclear pore, pro, uh, pore proteins will show abnormalities which is under uh, the control of maternal effect genes thereby inviable that is with low chance of survivability the hybrids will be formed which will die. Similarly we do have 
the conditions called as two closely related species are tigers and leopards the generic name is panthera for both the types so genus remains same but a species of tiger is tigris and of uh, leopards is paradis so what happens here tigers and lions even though they are closely related species mating occurs between them they form these zygotes the zygotes will develop into embryo but the embryo will not be further formed into an adult so there occurs inviable hybrids that brings in miscarriage till born in our words to say otherwise it gets aborted so that's the importance of uh, uh, the example the third example is related to rana that is frog variety rana drytonae and rana catasbiana both species are very closely related they tend to produce the eggs in ova uh, eggs are ova and sperms released into the water where external fertilization takes place zygotes are also formed but remember by the time the zygote um, uh, enters into the stage of gastrulation they die the reason is that there occurs the abnormality with the chromosomes uh, chromosome mismatching in them the fourth example is the two closely related species are sheep and goat it was warwick and berry in 1949 made a cross between sheep and goat to produce normal embryo embryos were also formed but they died during the course of development further which we call it as hybrid inviability so this is about the example related to hybrid inviability students the last type of post mating reproductive isolation type is hybrid sterility hybrid refers to the newborn it will have sterile conditions in it it is not vigorous it is viable but it is sterile students here hybrid is formed which is viable I mean to say it lives physically it is strong physiologically also healthy but it is sterile what do you mean by the condition of sterility it cannot reproduce new ones so the sterility is due to difference in the chromosome number and genetic makeup so hybrid sterility is a condition where hybrid is formed it is viable it is strong it is healthy but it cannot reproduce the egg ones so it it, it remains in the stage of uh, a sterility this concept is important because in most of the previous uh, years it, this question on hybrid sterility was uh, most repeated this condition prevails mating between two different species of organisms and when they are in natural uh, environment but without the natural mating partners so when the mating partners are not available but they are ready for mating then two closely related species of organisms undergo uh, um, mating to form the hybrid, i mean sterile hybrids these sterile hybrids generally doesn't reproduce in all sterile hybrid individuals sterility is due to interactions of abnormal genes that they have the chromosomal imbalances that they have 
chromosome and number is different between them. Nucleus and cytoplasmic interactions are different in them. All these factors brings about the hybrid to remain in the stage of sterile condition. So that is the importance of uh, hybrid sterility. To understand examples, number 1, tigers and lions in a closed environment when they are placed in a cage, the opposite sex of organisms since they are of sister taxa, if you look at the scientific name of tiger, it is Panthera tigris, of lion it is Panthera leo. Both are of same genus. When they are left in a cage, they tend to undergo the process of mating. They form the hybrid. Hybrid will be viable, it will be robust, it will be very strong. <coughs> but these hybrids are sterile. We call them as ligers and tigons. They are sterile group of hybrids. Here it is due to chromosomal uh, abnormal um, matching or abnormality in the chromosome number. So tigon, you can see tiger <coughs> plus lions combined there. Here Lion and tigers combine ligers and tigers. They are hybrids, sterile hybrids. How they are formed then? A male tiger and a lioness, that is a female uh, category of lion. Male tiger, when it mates with a lioness, it forms tigon. If a male lion mates with a tigress, then it forms liger. So, male individual characters are uh, uh, represented much here. Generally, we find the maternal effect genes are uh, controlling genes here in the organisms to exhibit those characters. So, both at the top and down, we can find the uh, uh, example of a tigon and a liger. The second example is a mating between horse and donkey. Similar case here too. We have horse belonging to the genus equus donkey also equals. But a species of horse is Cabalis and of donkey is Essenus. Horses and donkeys, even though they are of separate species, when they are given a chance to meet in a closed environment, when their natural mating partners are absent or not available, they form the hybrid uh, offsprings which are viable, robust, but remember these individuals are sterile. A male horse, mare and a female donkey, when they are crossed, we tend to form a hybrid, it tends to form a hybrid called mule. So, mule will have characters uh, uh, more like that of a donkey towards the posterior side and of anterior side, it shows more of horse character. Similarly, if a male donkey and a female horse are mated, it forms the hybrid called this hini. So, it will have the anterior part like that of donkey and posterior part like that of a horse. We call this hini. Here, both mule and hini are sterile organisms which show the difference in the chromosome number and the chromosomes 
are inherited from their parents do not pair and cross over correctly during the process of meiosis. Thereby, the resultant product will be of either mule or of hini. What happens here is that the sterile organisms are formed and these sterile organisms cannot reproduce the new individuals in the population. So, that is about the hybrid sterility. Well, students, after we understanding the concept of post-mating reproductive isolation mechanisms, we tend to know one more short concept called instant speciation and introgression. It is a condition wherein the hybrids are formed. Got it? In hybrid sterility, sterile hybrids are formed, correct? But hybrids that are formed may be either a male or a female. These male or female hybrids that are formed can sometimes be back crossed with their parents. But a condition is seen here. What is that condition? The female organism of hybrid which is sterile, we call it as sterile hybrids are formed right in hybrid sterility. The female hybrids when are crossed with the male parent, they produce fertile offsprings. So, females will not have sterility in them. It leads to the formation of a new species which we call as introgression process. So, hybrids are back crossed with their parent to produce fertile offsprings. So, they form a new population, we call it as instant population, speciation. And the concept was given by Haldane, we call it as Haldane's rule. What this Haldane rule says, concentrate please. It explains that the sterile hybrids that are formed in hybrid sterility between two different species, for example, it could be a, a mule or a hinny, whatever, or a tigon or ligo, whatever it is. If it is a female organism, female hybrids will not be sterile, they will be fertile. Condition here is that those uh, uh, female hybrids need to be mated with their male parent, that is their father. Are you able to follow? So, female hybrids, which are sterile in our words, are not sterile actually. They are fertile when they are crossed to the male parent, that is their father involved. So, they can produce so called fertile population. How can this happen? Haldane rule says that females are homogametic sex, mean to say they produce similar gametic uh, gametes with because all gametes will possess X chromosomes in them. So, homogametic sex it is. Whereas male organisms are X, Y, okay, it will have X and Y, X or Y. So, it is heterogametic sex. Male organisms will remain sterile here, whereas females are fertile. And these organisms of female when are crossed with their normal male parent, it produces fertile hybrids. Are we able to follow? So, we call it as Haldane's rule. 
So, according to Haldane rule, females of the hybrid that are formed are not sterile, they are fertile. Condition here is they should be mated to a male parent, their male parent to produce fertile hybrids. So, this is a slide to depict different types of pre mating and post mating reproductive isolation mechanisms, related types, and examples uh, in plants and animals related to it. Students, with that, we are completing the concept of uh, a post mating reproductive isolation. Let us answer MCQs related to reproductive isolation. Number one, group of organisms of all this uh, of the same species living in same place at same time. So, different groups of organisms of a particular species lives in the same place at same time as population. So, it is B. Answer is B. Question 2. Five flies make a pattern of flashes to attract the mates of their own species. What type of isolation is this? It is related to reproduction. So, it is behavioral isolation. Answer is B. One species of lizard breeds in spring, one breeds in summer. What type of isolation it is? It is definitely seasonal isolation, nothing but temporal isolation. Two populations are capable of interbreeding, but they have differences in their courtship rituals, such as one performs a song while another performs dance. What type of isolation is this? It is again behavioral because courtship is related to reproductive behavior. Answer is D. While donkeys and horses have ignored each other historically in the wild. It is saying in a forest, we are leaving donkeys and horses. Hybrids can be made through the artificial insemination also. The resulting hybrids are unusual in that they are gen generally viable but always sterile. Hybrid sterility. Okay. Because of their sterility, a blended lineage of two animals cannot exist. What type of evolutionary force is this? An example of. So, hybrid sterility is related to post-zygotic isolation, whereas the first three are pre-zygotic isolation. So, it a big answer is D. Which of the following is not true regarding zygote mortality? Fertilization occurs between gametes. Fertilization does not occur. After fertilization, the resulting zygote is inviable. It is an example of post zygotic reproductive isolation. Students here, which is not true, they are asking. Zygote mortality will occur after fertilization. So, A and C is correct. D is also correct because it is post zygotic reproductive isolation, which is not correct. It is fertilization does not occur. B is the answer. So, you will have to read the question carefully. Here in sixth question, they are asking which of the following is not true, not true. Hmm? Okay. Question 7. In hybrid sterility, war at what stage does reproductive isolation occur? So, which type here it is? It is again um, post zygotic isolation type. So, answer is C. Question 8. A farmer mates a goat and a sheep together. However, he finds 
he cannot use this hybrid animal to produce new hybrid. What is this an example for? So it forms according to the uh, statement here, hybrid animal is formed but it is not producing new hybrids. So it should be hybrid infertility or sterility. Answer is C. Dash states that when two species hybridize, the sex that is most often inviolable or sterile is heterogrammatic sex with different sex chromosomes, which is the sterile individual's heterogrammatic sex. Who says it so? Haldane rule. So answer is A. The tenth question. A scientist mates two different organisms. She absorbs no offsprings. A closure introspection reveals that the hybrid embryo does not develop properly. So zygote is formed, embryo is not getting developed. So what it is? It is hybrid inviability. The answer is B. Sorry students, I have marked here it is A. It should be B. Hybrid inviability. Hybrid does not uh, live. So with this, we are completing the reproductive isolation, which acts as a force behind speciation. Students, we have learned the role of isolating mechanisms in the process of evolution and speciation, especially related to reproductive isolation and geographic isolation. The references of web includes Wikipedia and Britannica.com. And uh, book references includes Organic Evolution by Veer Balarastogi and uh, Cell Biology, Genetics, Molecular Biology, Evolution and Ecology by Verma and Agarwal. Thank you all students. Please post your comments and queries to my personal WhatsApp number. And also you people take care of your health during this pandemic time.